pretty soon we're gonna have an empty arena match. Huh. <laughs> back again with an empty arena match, or in this case, an empty stadium, which is only about 30 fans shy of a typical Memphis Sliders game. King Lawler has had some of the most famous empty arena matches in history. This probably won't be one of them. You know, I just realized something. If the stadium is empty, who am I even talking to? That's weird, man. Lawler won't be able to rely on the home crowd advantage this time around, but if you ask me, I don't think you'll need it. It's so quiet here without a crowd that you can hear the scurrying about of the concession stand rats. And just a reminder, the Sliders are on the road. We'll be back for a six-game homestand next week. So come on out and support the home team. Or the away team. Just get your butt here and spend some money, okay? I have two 27-year-old man children to feed, and this franchise is dying quicker than a house fire. This is one heck of a bonus match we're getting here tonight, folks. It just proves you never know what you're going to see at Memphis Slider Stadium. Like that one crazy stunt where they had monkey umpires for a game? I still maintain they did a better job than the real ones.
You know, it's not often we get a Hall of Famer competing here at the stadium. Although there was that one time minor league Hall of Famer Turk Spitball Sampson pitched at the age of 93. He had to be removed from the field by security on account he escaped from his nursing home. But still, what a memorable night. Tonight's wrestling event is brought to you by our sponsor, Bobby Joe's Dog Board. If we lose your dog, the next one's on us. Wrestling has a long history of holding major events in baseball stadiums, including several WrestleManias and, of course, tonight's show. not because I'm not sure how long the sliders can afford to keep the lights on. I've seen a lot of swings and misses out there. Kinda reminds me of a slaughter's game. Next Sunday Sliders game is our annual Bring Your Pet Fish to the Stadium Day, where the first 50 fans who arrive with their pet fish will receive two free tickets and one month's supply of fish food. Please note, once all promotional tickets are gone, fish will be charged full price admission. It's the battle of the pile driver versus whatever Trey's finisher is. Honestly, I'm sure it's nowhere near as good as the pile driver. These two are throwing heat right up in each other's kitchens, trying to avoid the Grand Slam.
two are trying to knock each other out of the park. When it comes to winning matches in Memphis, Jerry the King Lawler is pretty much batting a thousand. Let's hope he keeps that average up tonight. It's up to these two to get the job done. There's no pinch wrestler coming in to replace him. If you ask me, Trey's really swinging for the fences trying to take out a legend like Lawler in his hometown. Trey might be down to his last strike. One more swing and miss and he's out for good. Don't forget that in two weeks, the Sliders are hosting Bring Your Own Fireworks Night. What could possibly go wrong? Red and I ended up having a good run in Memphis, but eventually we wanted to check out some of the other indie hotspots around the country. And after a year or so of bouncing around, we made a name for ourselves in LA, where the indie scene was really taking off. That's it. I'm leaving without you. You can't do that. We're a package deal, remember? Besides, look who's headed our way. Mm, great. I was wondering if she'd show up. 
Relax. I'm not here to start anything, so don't get your collective skivvies in a bunch. This is the one day to put any past differences aside and honor your achievements, so congratulations. You've earned everything that's coming to you tonight. What was that? Maybe she has a conscience after all. I seriously doubt that. Forget her. Let's get back to your story. I think L.A. was where I first saw you two wrestle in person. Remember? We ended up having that series of matches against each other. How could I forget? It led to one of the most embarrassing nights of my career. We'd battled each other in just about every type of match, except for one that also happened to be on the list. Wrestle in a crybaby match. And since you had the first and only crybaby match with Razor Ramon back in the day, this was the perfect time to cross it off. As always, we ask you to please clean up after yourself. If you don't, we'll have to hire a cleaning crew and raise ticket prices. And nobody wants that. Be open until 30 minutes after the show, so enjoy the event and come check out all the latest stuff on your way out. Or don't. Less work for me.
Huh. I haven't seen that before. Sorry I put your friend in a diaper. There was no way I was gonna let that happen to me again. Maybe it'll teach him to stop putting ridiculous things on our list, but probably not. Hey, this isn't public knowledge yet, so keep it on the DL. The WWE is going to be holding an all-women's tournament later this year. That's amazing. Yeah, they're calling it the Mae Young Classic. Triple H asked me to keep an eye out for talent, so I'll be watching your match tonight against Candice LeRae. Don't hold back. I never do. Ooh. Oh, this stuff's all in my eyes. I can't see. I think I'm going blind. <laughs> I don't know why he's so cranky. I fed him and changed his diaper. <laughs> Any chance he can babysit during my match? <laughs> Update on the collapsed crane situation. It still sucks. Both sides of the 405 remain closed. If you don't live nearby in the valley, you might as well sleep in your car, if it hasn't been broken into. Not so friendly reminder, there is no smoking allowed in the building. If we get fined, you pay it. Plus it's gross. request to do birthday announcements and the answer is no this isn't a baseball game people alone. They know you're big fans of their movies and TV shows. Just let them watch the match.
As always, we are not responsible for any injuries sustained while at our show. Besides, wouldn't a scar be the coolest souvenir you could get?
Look, you two are great, so I wish I could recommend you both for the Mae Young Classic, but Hunter said they're only looking to fill one spot right now. You're really milking this decision. <laughs> Get it? Because the crybaby match earlier? I've been hanging out with Trey too much. Please, continue. I'm gonna have to recommend Candace. She's been doing this for over 15 years. Red, you've got a ton of potential, but you don't have anywhere near that kind of experience. Yeah, totally. I get it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm sure we'll see each other again in the future. Like he said, I've been doing this a really long time, and you're one of the best I've ever seen. And you're only gonna get better. I appreciate that. Uh, I gotta go call my husband and tell him the good news. No guarantees, but I'll definitely keep you in mind if WWE ends up doing this tournament again. Give me your contact info before you leave tonight, okay? I will. Thanks. Hey, I overheard what Xbox said. This is just a bump in the road. And tonight wasn't a total loss. At least I get to cross off wrestle in a crybaby match. Give me that. Ugh, it smells like butt sweat. I told you not to keep the list in your tights. Cost of doing business. Win May Young Classic Tournament. See if you can air that out. As our indie journey continued over the next couple of years, we got to have matches in a lot of cool places. But the one that stood out most was when we got to do a special show back in our hometown. You've got to be kidding me. And we thought her head couldn't get any bigger. You know what? I'm not going to let a stupid sign ruin this for us. Let's go. This was our chance to show our friends and family just how far we had come. Well, at least our friends.